If you are not a physicist, don't know any laws of physics, you still probably heard of this equation, E is equal to mc square. It is the most famous equation in physics. This equation is known as energy mass equivalence equation, where m is the mass and E is energy. C is the velocity of light, which is always constant. On the most basic level, it simply says that energy and mass are interchangeable. I mean, seriously, you have the mass, you know the velocity of light, and that's it. You can change mass into energy. It's easy, right? But there's a problem. In 1905, when Einstein published his original paper, he wrote it something like this m is equal e over c square. Now, you're gonna ask, what's the difference? I mean, you can rearrange m is equal e over c square to e is equal mc square, and it's still correct, right? Wrong. No, not the equation. Well, let's talk about this. First thing first, what is mass? The answer depends on two facts. Number one, how the parts are arranged into a body, and number two, how they move into a bigger object. Let A and B are two same objects made of alpha, beta and k. These three parts are orientated differently and also vibrate in different direction. In this case, A and B don't have the same mass. Let's talk about another example. Let's consider two exact same analog clock. One is doing nothing. Other one is running. Now, as it's running, the clock has some kinetic energy. Friction increases the thermal energy. Internally, of course, it also has some potential energy because of springs. Now, according to Einstein, this one has greater mass than this. Here's come the solution. Mass that is being washed isn't the sum of the components only. There is something more. You may write mass watch is equal mass component plus mass extra. Remember the first clock has some energy? which are potential kinetic and thermal. Dividing the energy by C square, we get the mass. Guess what? This is the extra mass. This is so small that without sensitive equipment, you can't even measure it. And there you go. This is the problem that we have mentioned earlier. Most of us think mass is the amount of matter, but it's not. There will always some extra if it's moving. It's small, but it's not zero.